This is the complete updated guide to Mac screen recording. We'll look at the simplest ways to record your screen on Mac with or without audio, plus the best screen capture apps available and exactly how to use them. Hey, it's Justin Brown here from Primal Video, where we help you grow an audience and scale your revenue with online video. If you're seeing value in this video, make sure you're giving it a thumbs up. It makes a huge difference. And all the links to everything I mentioned in this video, you can find linked in the description box below. So let's jump into it. Screen captures are a great way to step your audience through a process on screen, teaching them how to use an app or software, record a presentation with slides, or even capture B-roll of a specific product page or a website for your videos. In fact, screen captures are one of the easiest ways to create B-roll or overlay footage. So if you're not using them, you definitely should be. Now there is a lot of options out there. You've got things like OBS, Snagit, Zoom, Screencast-O-Matic, Cloud App, Screencastify, Wondershare, Demo Creator, ScreenFlow, Camtasia. And after trying and testing all the top options, here's our short list. All right, so the first option is the Mac Screenshot Toolbar. This is a free and simple option and it's already installed on your Mac. So you can access this either through QuickTime, so just by opening up QuickTime Player, then choosing File, New Screen Recording, or if we cancel back out of this, you can also access it at any time by pressing Command Shift 5 on the keyboard and it'll open it up that way too. So in here, you've got some basic settings. You wanna make sure that you're selecting one of these two down the bottom here to record your entire screen or to record a selected portion where we can just draw out the area of the screen that we wanna record. Then down here under options, you've got the ability to select where you want your video file to be saved out to. You can set a timer for your recording. So when you press record, it's gonna count down from none, from five seconds or from 10 seconds. And you can also specify which microphone you wanna use if you're gonna be recording audio at the same time. And the last option down the bottom here is whether you wanna show your mouse clicks. So it'll make them stand out when you're clicking to make it easier for your viewers to follow along. Then when you're ready to record, all you need to do is press the record button down the bottom here. We're gonna get our countdown from five seconds and recording has now started. Now to stop the recording at any time, you can come up to the top menu bar and press the little stop button there. And you can see our recording has ended up on our desktop here. Now in terms of editing or trimming down your recording afterwards, if you open up your recording in QuickTime, then you come up top here to edit and down to trim. You do have some basic functionality in here to remove something from the start or off the end. Or if we cancel out of this, we can actually come across to where we wanna split our clip and we can choose edit split clip to split it into two separate clips and do some really basic editing that way. Now as for downsides of using this method, there is no way for you to bring in to record your webcam. And also you'll probably find that the file sizes of your recordings can be rather large. But overall, this is a good option for simple screen recording tasks, but it doesn't have the flexibility of some of the other options that we're about to cover here. The next option you've got is OBS or Open Broadcaster Software. Now this is really popular live streaming and screen recording software for PC and Mac. And probably the biggest reason it's so popular is because of the huge amounts of settings and control that you have over everything and the price tag. It's open source software, so it's totally free. So to share your screen, you just wanna come down here to the little plus button and choose either display capture to record your entire computer screen or down to window capture to share a specific application or window. So I'm gonna go window capture, I'm gonna go okay. I'm gonna pick the window that I wanna share. So Google Chrome here and then you go okay. And now we can come up here and we can resize this and customize up how this looks and feels. Now you also have webcam recording capabilities in here as well. So we can come down the bottom here and add in another video source, or in this case, a video capture device. And we can go okay, and we can select our webcam. So if I come across here, select our FaceTime camera, It'll be behind the scenes. Let's go okay. And we now have the webcam in here as well as a separate video source. So I can resize this down and I could put me down the bottom corner here. So when I'm doing the screen recording that you can actually have yourself on camera as well. So you can customize up either a static shot like you're seeing here, or we can create different scenes that you can switch between while you're live. So this is now here our current scene one where we've got my desktop and we've got me on camera. We can create a new scene Let's call it scene number two, very original. And let's add in our webcam in here. So we've got a full screen webcam of me here. And then when we're doing our screen recording, I can switch between the two scenes of having me down the bottom corner here with the computer screen and then back to me full screen. 
So as this is live streaming software primarily, it makes it so powerful when it comes to screen recording too, with all the features and things that you've got access to. Now in terms of some of those settings, if we go down to settings and we go over to output, then under the recording section here, this is where you can really dial everything in. So you get to specify the recording quality, either one of their presets here, or you can actually manually type in the bit rate up here that you would like to record at. You can also change up your recording format, your recording size. There is a ton of settings in here. And that's why this is normally aimed at someone who is more advanced or someone that's looking for more of these advanced features. So then when you're ready to record, you just come down the bottom here and hit this start recording button. Your recording starts. When you wanna stop, press the stop button. Pretty simple. Another big benefit of OBS is that it's not too computer intensive, meaning that it's great for screen recording any gaming, or even if you're gonna be using it on a lower spec computer. But overall, in terms of screen recording software, it's fairly complicated, it's fairly clunky, especially compared to most of the other options out there. And one other thing to be aware of is that the output from this, the file you get from it when you record, is just one flattened or finished video file. These separate video layers aren't recorded individually, so swapping between things afterwards isn't possible if you're following this method. But some of the other options I've got coming up really soon for you will actually record separate, your webcam, your screen, and any of your other inputs so that you can edit them down later. So overall, it's a great option for free. There is a ton of advanced controls and everything in here, but it's definitely on the more complicated side of things. The next option is Wondershare Demo Creator. And this is another one that's available on both Mac and PC. This one will let you record your computer screen, also your webcam and any audio sources all on separate tracks so that you can actually edit these down afterwards, which is really powerful. So this is what you see when you open up the app. You just wanna to go to new recording. And once all of this loads, you wanna come down here press this little settings button to configure everything up. So in here, we get to choose what you're actually going to record. So you can capture your full screen. You can set a custom size or a custom region, or you can select a target window or a target application for you to record. You can also select your frame rate in here as well. Anything from 15 frames per second, right up to 120 frames per second. Then over under audio, this is where we can choose if we're going to record our computer audio. Any audio that's gonna be playing back through your computer. We can also select our microphone in here as well. Then down under camera is where we can select our camera, our webcam, and we can specify the recording resolution and frame rate for that as well. So once you've got those set up, you wanna come down here to capture. And you can see I'm here on webcam now. We have our full screen selected. If we wanted to just select a region of our screen, then we can adjust this on the go. Then when you wanna record, you just press the little record button here and we will get a countdown timer from three, and then the recording has started. So now that it's recording, you can bring up some annotations. If you come up to the little record button up here, down to screen drawing, then you get your drawing tools. So if we wanna type something on screen, we can select this tool here and type out some text. That's pretty hard to read, red on red, but we can also grab an arrow if we wanna draw something out. So the idea here is that you're able to annotate and point things out to your viewers on the fly while you're actually recording. Once you're done recording, you can press the stop button here, or you can come back up the top to open the recorder and stop the recording in here. So once your recording's finished, this is where the power of this tool really takes off, is in the editing capabilities that it has. So make this bigger now. But you can see here we've got our audio track from the microphone, we have me on webcam, and we also have the screen recording as three separate tracks. So if we find that we don't want the webcam, we can select it and press delete, and we don't have to use that in our finished video. So I'll undo that now. Likewise, if we wanna pick it up and we wanna move it around, we have the ability to do this afterwards. So you might find that for a section of the video, you might wanna make yourself much bigger on screen. Uh, for another section of the video, you might not wanna be on screen at all, in which case you can actually edit this as you would with regular video editing software. So we could come down here and we could split the clip at this point and delete the rest of the clip. So as we're playing through this video now, I'm on screen and then I disappear at this point because we've removed that footage. Now, there's also some other really simple but powerful features in here as as well. If we come up here to titles, you have the ability to bring in a lot of preset titles and graphics and things for your videos. We can easily add in some annotations and bring out text boxes. So we can drop in a text box here to call out something that might be happening on the screen. There's also lots of stickers, uh, transitions, effects in here as well. But something that I think is really powerful is if you come down here to cursor, we can actually adjust what our mouse cursor looks like after we've actually 
finish the recording. So if we come down here and select our screen recording, come up the top here to cursor highlight. Let's drag this highlight effect down onto this layer. And you can see we've now got this highlight that's gonna follow our mouse cursor around. So you're not just limited to turning this on or off before you actually record like you are in some of the other options we've shown you. You can actually turn this on or off after you've actually finished your recording. Now, not only that, we can take this one step further. Again, with this bottom layer selected, we can come over here and we can adjust what our cursor looks like. So I can actually scale it up and make it bigger again after the recording is finished. So this is a really powerful feature that most of the other options that we've covered don't have. Now, probably the biggest editing feature that this program is missing is the ability to apply any sort of color grade or color adjustments to any of your clips. So if you wanted to tweak the colors a little bit, there is no option over here to do that. So it's not a deal breaker, but it's definitely something to be aware of. Now, in terms of pricing, you've got two options. You can buy this outright for $59.99. That is a one-time fee or you can jump on a $39.99 annual plan, which will give you access to any upgrades that they release. So overall, I was pretty surprised by Demo Creator. There's something that's really simple, it's really easy to use, and it's great value in comparison to some of the other similar options that are out there. But if you are looking for something with more advanced controls and even things like color adjustment tools, then the next option will be for you. So the next option then is ScreenFlow. And this is the most robust when it comes for recording your webcam, your computer screen, your phone. There's lots of controls, there's lots of options. It really is one to share Demo Creator on steroids. And in terms of video editing, this one is actually pretty powerful. So when you open up the app, you've got two main options. One is to start a new screen recording, and the other is to start a new editing document or editing project. But under the screen recording, you can see here that we can record multiple computer screens. So if you're someone who's running multiple screens and you wanna record all of them at once, then you can just select those screens here. Also, if you've got any iOS devices plugged in, a phone or an iPad, you can record the screen from that as well. We can also easily turn on video recording from our webcams in here as well. See, on screen again, so we can pick your webcam in there. You can also choose the resolution or the quality that that's going to be recorded at. And we get to choose where we're going to record our audio from as well. And there's also an option once again to record your computer audio as well, or any audio that's gonna be played through your computer while you're recording. And then down the bottom, we get to choose if we're gonna record our entire computer screen just by pressing record, or if you wanna draw out an area of our screen, then we can choose partial screen capture here and specify the area that we want to capture. So I'll cancel out of that one, and we're gonna go back and just hit record. So we're recording full screen. And we'll get a countdown. It'll tell us again the things that we're actually recording. There's like a quick little sanity check. It counts down and we are actually recording. Now here, there is no annotations that you can pull out live like we've had in a few of the other options. You can do all of that stuff afterwards. So your focus on here is running through doing your screen recording, taking your viewers through whatever process it is. Then when you're done, you just wanna come up the top here and press stop recording. And that's gonna open it up then in your timeline view. So again, very similar to Wondershare. And we can see that once again, we've got separate video tracks for our screen recording and for the webcam as well well. So we can again pick this up, we can move it around, we can choose when we want to have it on screen or not. But in terms of actual editing, this is definitely a step up from Demo Creator. So if we go ahead now and select our screen recording down the bottom, we come up here to the tools, you can see there's already so many more options in here. We have all our transform tools to make our videos bigger or smaller. We've got a full set of audio tools in here as well to dial in our audio and even a ton of audio filters built in to help you clean up any audio and even do things like remove background noise. And then over here under the screen recording options, we've got a lot of the similar options that we just saw in Demo Creator, but these take it to the next level. So we can still zoom in or out on our mouse cursor, but we can actually turn the mouse cursor off completely if we don't want it on at all or for a specific section of our video. Plus also the click effects and annotation effects. There's a lot more in here. This is far more advanced than Demo Creator. But where ScreenFlow really stands out is that it is a full-on video editing application. You're not just here editing down your screen recordings. I know a lot of people that are actually using ScreenFlow to edit down their YouTube content or even their course content as well. And as for the features and things that you've got access to in here, it's actually a lot more than you would find in most video editing applications. Now in terms of pricing, this is a one-time fee to purchase this outright for $129, but know that there is an upgrade charge every time a major update is released. And I guess the only other thing to be aware of is that this software is Mac only, but hey, we're watching a Mac video. 
So in rounding this out, if you're looking for some simple free screen recording options, you can try the Mac Screenshot Toolbar or QuickTime, which is already installed on your Mac, or you could use OBS. Wondershare Demo Creator is gonna be great for someone looking for that perfect mix of simplicity, price, and features without being a full-blown editing program. Or if you're looking for something with the most amount of control and features for both recording and editing all in one solution, then that's where ScreenFlow is going to be the best option for you. But from all of those, my number one pick right now as best all rounder does go to Wondershare Demo Creator. It's a great option and I'd say it's the best bang for your buck. So now that you've got your screen recording on Mac sorted, if you wanna capture the screen on your iPhone or your Android device, then check out the videos linked on screen for complete tutorials showing you how to do it. And I'll see you in the next video.